illuminating different dimensions and all of reality. Let it be known, the epic legend of the Duelist. What's going on my boys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship video. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship weekend and um, Konami's pumping out some dank Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I'm making content on all the Yu-Gi-Oh! World's stuff that's been happening, so feel free to check out all the content here on my channel and also hit that like and subscribe button. So check out this content, catch me in the comments and the uh, chat below, and as always, keep it dank. Here we go, in the blue corner, it's Juan Mateo Augusto Rentia Pastor of Peru. And in the red corner, it's Santiago Marin Lopez. I believe we've seen both of these duels before. We see Dragon Link over here on Santiago's side. And uh, Juan Mateo was our Sword Soul duelist. That's right. On and the first day. It looks like Santiago was able to go first. It looks like he started off with the spell card. I can't tell, but he did go with the Black Metal Dragon, the Link into Striker Dragon. That got him into, oh, it's a quick launch, I bet, because there is that Rocket Tracer yeah. on the field. So he's able to add Boot Sector launch, and the Black Metal added that Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Now he's going to banish that Striker Dragon to Special Summon the Red Eyes Darkness Metal to bring back that Black Metal Dragon. So he's now he's linking away the two dragons for a Link 2. Yeah, very strong start here. Quick launch plus uh, Black Metal Dragon. Very strong. Almost as good as it gets. We have seen we saw a lot of Dragon Link yesterday, but not a lot of Quick Launch, which is one of the most powerful cards in the deck. So while we were seeing the deck really operate at a uh, pretty good capacity, Quick Launch really takes it to another level. It's a good way to extend past any sort of disruption your opponent has. But that Dragoonian Knight Romulus did add Dragon Ravine from the deck to the hand, and now Dragon Ravine's going to discard another copy of Quick Launch. An abundance of Quick Launches here, but Ooh. holding the Ash Blossom for the Dragon Ravine. This is huge. Dragon Ravine is used to either access the Beastial Lubellion from the deck, if you have something like Starly Safer to add it back from the graveyard, or to send Absa Router Dragon to grab uh, a rocket monster from your deck to your hand. And I would imagine the normal summons all the Honestly, play, the these um, so this Dragon Link decks, decks have been turn. going really crazy uh, during three. the tournament, he's during he Worlds, during Dual Links. Like, Dragon Link is really you getting a lot of shine right now, actually. I don't think so. What's a two? Percenter, right? It really Opening is. all three? Oh, no. Well, yeah, you're talking to the guy who drew three Reborn Tinkers in the finals, so don't talk to me about percentages. <laughs> it, it, 2%, 100% of the time, but that's a really good card. It's not once per turn, so being able to use two of these is huge, so he's still able to access another copy of Rocket Tracer. Now he's linking that away for Guard Dragon Pisty. Now these two are going to be used to make, uh, I believe, the Trip Burst Dragon. Yep. There really useful is. in getting the zones uh, pointing, or the link, <laughs> the link arrows pointing to a zone. So you're able to special summon a dragon back. And Rocket Tracer hits the field again. Now it looks like he's going to use the Tracer effect to destroy Dragon Ravine to special summon a rocket from the deck. And now for the rest of the turn, he'll only be able to special summon dark monsters from the extra deck. As if there aren't you know, a wealth of <laughs> incredibly powerful dark monsters that are also dragons that go in your extra deck. Plenty of options, and that Tracer's going to summon Rocket Recharger, and he's going to link away the rest of his monsters for Boral End Dragon. The Boral End Dragon is going to negate the Rocket Recharger to bring back Rocket Tracer from the graveyard, and then he'll be able to Synchro Summon both for Boral Load Savage Dragon. This is a really, really strong start. Not insurmountable, though. And he gets to get that triple burst. It's getting interesting. Borlo Savage Dragon is my favorite synchro. I really like Dragon Link, honestly. So I think it's pretty pretty cool that like Dragon Link is really going in right now. So he's got Borlo with three counters on it and Borlo. And I think that's a Omni Negate and a Monster Effect Negate. And I think there's four cards in hand. We saw him do pretty so, well. So yeah, he's got he's got a lot in hand. So I think he's doing pretty good. And chose to go second. I think that is his strategy with his Sorcerer deck is to blind go second. So he's so sword soul against I mean, this? That's interesting. Really unexpected. Really unexpected. Well, I mean, you know. But that's, I mean, Day one two. strategy was perfect. This is it. All, all the marbles for this in like, this it duel. It the Apps Router or the Bestial Rebellion. Either way, you don't want them to have it. So having the ash there is crucial. And I told oh, you the ooh, blind ooh, second ooh. is what he chooses to do with his sword soul deck because he main deck copies of Dark Ruler no more. Well, that'll do it. That shuts yeah. off Santiago's <laughs> monster effects. No. Monster effect that was allowing the equip of Triple Burst Dragon was negated there. The equipment Man, that's, that's falls absolute off, disrespect. And that'll bring the attack points down and remove the counters as well. So that's something interesting about counters. Counters, the ability to have a counter is not inherent to any particular card. Mm. It's always due to some kind of effect. Either a different effect lets you do it, or the card's own effect lets it have the counters. And if the card's own effect is letting it have the counters, 
as in the case here, if it's negated, it loses those counters. Wow. And he's going to special summon the Incredible Ecclesia from the hand. All right. Ash Blossom, Dark Little War, Incredible Ecclesia. I love Sword Soul. Ob awesome opening here for Juan. I mean, versus three quick launches, this is incredible here for our first semifinal match. Checks the extra deck real fast. What am I going to do about that extremely large dragon? Going to normal summon Sword Soul of Mo Yang. Oh, that's pretty good. We've got a worm to reveal. Yes, Tinny Spirit at Hara. Oh, man, this is an excellent start here for Juan. I know both these guys are friends. I actually saw them walking in the building together, arms around each other. They're just happy to be here. It's going to be a bittersweet moment, but I know whoever wins this will be happy for the other one. Now yeah. he's at a level eight. Single. The getting clapped by level Dark eight, Ruler no more eight, is eight, is eight, not uh, eight, fun. Eight, fun. <laughs> Chain link two Mo Yang. Well, well at least with the new rules, rules he together. has the or ability to scoop. Card from the so deck. that's at least good, right? Chain to the that with Incredible Ecclesia's quick effect to special summon a Sword Soul monster. So we're going to get all of these cards out of the deck now so that the draw has the highest chance of getting you something that you weren't able to search out. This yeah. is the semifinals. He's going to use that incredible Ecclesia to tribute to summon Sword Soul of Taya from the deck. It's kind of funny. Like, this kind of feels like basic uh, Master Duel combo. Taya's pretty awesome at clearing boards. You know, Sword it Soul like did, versus it like did, Dragon uh, Link, you know? He oh, he it, chained yeah. Ecclesia. Yeah, he's chained chain Ecclesia. three. Yes. Okay. Oh, I was okay. like, you didn't resolve these effects. Makes sense. You want to get that tie out of your deck to thin your deck a little more before you get your draw. Yeah, I, I missed the, yeah. uh, the order of the chain. I thought he said I wonder what so he's searching for. Would happen first, and then the draw would happen last. Mm. But he protected the Chi Shao from Ash Blossom and put the draw on top of that as chain link two. Yep, definitely. Mm. And then I guess even if, if you use the Ecclesia here, you can try to fish out the Ash Blossom as well. True. And now the Chi is going to add the Long Yuan. This Taya, it smells like Boxia to me. Boxia, really great. So Taya is really good to go into Boxia as opposed to Moye, because the Sword Soul token is a water token. So Moye is also a water. So if you synchro into Boxia there, you're only going to get to spin back one card. But if you use Taya, it is a wind. So it'll have wind and water. So you get two attributes to make Boxia, allowing you to spin two cards from the field back to the deck. And the key here is that it's the Broken number token of has been summoned. You used to make it. Exactly. All right. Well, he's going for a synchro And Taya also play. has the extra effect of being able to send any worm from your deck to the graveyard when it's used, which can be really useful in the Sword Soul deck. And with the long one, this game could be almost over. There it is. Ooh. There's Boxia, yeah. Brightness of Yang Zing. Two Yikes. different attributes used. Now, the protection effect of Boreland Dragon was negated there by Dark Ruler No More. Don't forget, it can't be destroyed. The card effects that can't sucks. be targeted by Dark Monster Ruler No More, man. I and hate Dark that Ruler card no sometimes. It's going to allow on to break Jesus. the board, but he's not going to be able to finish Santiago off just yet, but he'll be able to build his own board and make it pretty difficult for Santiago to come back in. We already saw three quick launches into the graveyard, him sitting on a couple cards in hand. We'll have to see where Juan goes next. Now, the key here is right now the only disruption is the Chi Shao. So let's see if he can advance you know, further beyond this. Yeah, he sent the Ashuna with the uh, Taya. So now he's going to be able to discard the Adhara he revealed. And oh, he's got the long one as well. Yeah, he, uh, he, I think it's what he added with the Chi Chao. Yes. And now he's going to also, as soon as he summons the long one, he's going to get that token. And then this is where the decision process comes into play. He's got the 10 Synchro. Is he going to use the Ashuna he's got from the Grey eight synchro. to um, be he's able got to the special summon a worm from his deck, but that'll lock dark him into only no using some worms? Or do you go so. into Baron? He can't he kill him this turn. So I guess that doesn't. I guess that's not a big deal. Maybe that's why he's not scooping. Just for all we know, Santiago could have there. The, oh, a similar you don't type of hand. Gonna have a follow up? No, I build my board. So there's only turn. two cards in Santiago's hand. So right? Baron, Chi 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 Baron gets one of them. The Chi Chao is probably going to get another, which would leave him one more card to work with on top of that. And Dragon Link, a really strong deck. It does have a decent follow up, but it does invest a lot of his cards into that first wave of combos. And also keep in mind, no damage this turn. Dark Ruler no more was played. Yeah, it's all yeah, about the Sword Soul is kind of linear, so after he does this, the long one, maybe in fact, set the blackout, the you know, he'll, no he'll be <laughs> fully <laughs> exposed. So <laughs> this no will be damage, Santiago's no opportunity to either blow him out and win the duel, or so he's taking a moment you know, to consider scoop it up. <laughs> if he wants it. Maybe taking a little too long. Santiago's trying to find a way maybe go into Chao Fang, but I don't... 
can see. Oh yeah, he could. He could just banish the Ashuna. But yeah, unfortunately, in yu gi yeah, that's all you can do when then, you're just waiting for your I don't know how many light monsters the, the Dragon Link deck would I always shut down by that. wonder like, like when you're watching <laughs> duels like this and you're playing like something I'm like Torso. You know, there's uh, not a lot a of choice. options. Like, you got, I do uh, think you can wind up getting a penalty on this one for slow play. And as he makes the move there, as you see, mm -hmm. we talked about this yesterday about how when you're judging in a case like this, what you do is you wait for them to make the play mm -hmm. and then you issue the warning for it. So, yeah, I, th I think that is easily the correct call. He was going to call it slow this play. Way you will have Chao Feng and um, slow the play. Long Yuan. <laughs> and if you had something like Black Battle, yeah, Blackout, I, guess, I love that with Chao Feng. I guess that's kind of. So you can destroy your Chao Feng. I guess I was making a point. And then the Chao Feng lets you add a two to your deck. You know what you're doing, the sword. So, you have pretty linear combos. Hurry it up. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't think to say slow play, but. Maybe we talked about the hyper librarian type effect yesterday, but we didn't get to see it. That's kind of funny. We got a warning though. There's a chance that Santiago well, there still he has is. something not like, not bearing. We saw but some dragon uh, players playing the beer the primal one. being in their dragon deck. You have to use it right now though, because otherwise you could lock it or something. Yeah, he didn't remember. drop it, so now there is no chance to aggregate light effects. Ooh. So since the long one gives him that draw, summon the synchro monster that is a worm. Now we didn't see blackout added, so I think he has it. He'd have to hard draw it. Yeah, he's it probably got like blackout. It. So it looks like he is just going to cut him off from he using did. light. Oh, man, no, he doesn't have it. Never mind. The sinister, I mean, the sinister oh, is safer. Santiago has. Safer, safer is, safer is, is light a good effect. one. Safer. Lights can't so work. Have boot sector, so that's going to cause the sinister long one effect to banish. Right, yeah, his monsters are dark, right? I, I don't really know. I, but they said they're friends, and they play with each other. So he would know what card to block. And that's going to be it. Wow. One strategy paying off here. We didn't get to see who Could won the die roll. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I would have scooped it up. Yeah, that seems Diego like an L to probably me. Probably knows that Juan is choosing to go second with the sword soldier. All right, looks all like right, we are go. just about ready to get started on this game number two. Is so Juan let's see what Santiago is going to do. I definitely would not want to go. I definitely wouldn't want to go first again. But the funny thing about that is, it's like if what if Juan actually, like you know, like plays into that, like takes out the dark cooler no more, and puts in more favorable first cards. But that's something that you always got to worry about. Santiago looking at his hand. This could be the last hand he draws for the tournament. Jesus, <laughs> say it like that. Both these players, <laughs> excellent duelists, deserve to be here in the semifinals. One will be going on to the finals. Mm. I just think it's so awesome that no matter what, we are going to have a North America versus Latin America finals. Starly Safert is the normal summon. Okay. Solid, good way to start. At least we'll have access to the baby dragons. As long as it goes through. As long as it goes through, y'all are killing me with this commentary. Oh, sassy! The classic questions I ask through. myself in a duel Jesus. every time. Oh, here he picks it back up. Picks it up his hand. Well, nothing. Nothing yet. I thought maybe an ash blossom would come down here. Why? It looked like Santiago was deciding whether he wanted to. You know, it's funny. I I wonder if Juan has like anything. Cause I mean he had Ash last game and he oh, and man. I think he played the it the same it makes me think his hand is not nonchalant goes with style. Okay, we don't have a dark monster yet, no. but we do have chaos space and that fixes the problem. So he's trying to bait out Nash Blossom and Joy Spring there, so this chaos space doesn't get Ash. Maybe Juan doesn't have anything. Dark. So he's gonna be able to add a light here. Maybe he's like he's gonna go nuts, it's but he but yeah. probably if you think about it though, if he's only side, running Ash and set. go second cards, you know. He's he'll be able to discard. Or he might be running like a nugget or anything. I don't know. It's pretty funny. Add a B steal from deck to hand. I wonder yeah. Gonna be interesting. He probably just got another blowout best card. Dragons around. We talk about how new dragon cards are always be released. Be like battle phase. Get the ball. Get any dragon monster from your deck at the end phase. Uh. Here comes the wyvern burster. He's gonna be banishing that druid swarm from the graveyard. No response. Maybe he really doesn't have anything. Maybe he didn't draw any uh, hand traps or whatnot. Ron, how many summons here now? Uh, one, Three. two. 
He could have a nugget, but I don't think so. Three. I don't think he's got nugget. Be because Striker Dragon, I have to putting imagine. it in the Biru against um, Dragon Link. I mean, I mean, I don't know. So Maybe I thought they summoned Brolo before Collapse Servant. Uh, they can get nugget, but Dragon, I don't Chain know. Maybe Wyvern they Burst don't. Burst I don't know. I don't yep. know. Wyvern 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 gets to add Collapse Serpent. The dynamic but I don't duo think he would put in was a, limited a, to one. Nibiru. Thanks to the TCG for being unlimited list. He's already playing like you know Dark Ruler no more, so Four. maybe he doesn't play now we've that. Got the Chaos Space. Then he plays more like Banish that. Imperm, more Shuffle more, deck is going to play a drawing effect uh, now. Stuff. We've got new shuffling procedures uh, in place for this Dark world Ruler championship no to cut down on the time needed to randomize decks. We're only randomizing them when we we'll need see. To. Nice watch though. Santiago's watch is nice. <laughs> Yeah, Dragon Link's one of those decks, like, no matter what, like, kind of hand you draw, you can usually find a way to get to the same path to get you to the result that you're looking for. I really like that. Same same thing with Monodium. That's the same kind of, like, vibes I get with the decks, where you can, like, kind of freestyle it, as you mentioned. You, you just find a way to get to where you need to go. So two monsters linked away. Are we going Seals? We're going Romulus. I think this will be the fifth summon, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going Romulus. Going to be able to add the Wyvern Burst. You can only summon it. We can only add once per turn. He's going to add Dragon Ravine as well. Okay. I wonder if we're going to see the same thing here where he's holding off on that Ash all the way to Dragon Ravine. That'd be yeah, crazy. Imagine. It worked for him out. Worked pretty well for him game one. Dragon Ravine. Even though he still was able to make the board. I guess the Dark Ruler no more was the big part. Discard's boot it's sector boot sector. Well, he hasn't seen the rocket part of the deck yet. True. But, so I guess this means he's going to be going for mm. Levian here, maybe? Yeah, he didn't have anything. He's got Drop the Dark Ruler here, no more, bad, though. Safer. Called it. He's got the Evenly, though. <laughs> That's how they be looking when they got Dark Ruler Dragon and Evenly. Ruby, really versatile they be looking like, deck. Mm. You can really do a lot of things with it. You can access how can I here, deal with this? Mm. Or your whole how can I engine. beat this? Mm. So how many of those monsters Bell are face? Your <laughs> Right now, Juan is asking the very same <laughs> question. I think I saw a dark and two light. No, it's two darks and a light. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Right, so that would be mixed yeah, I think I think he's just got another blowout card. Chaos Dragon Levy in here if it was something. He doesn't right have ass, so he's got a blowout. Not as dangerous current. But if Santiago's gonna survive, he's gotta have yeah. more steel magnum than monsters on the field. You know. I think he's gonna try to go for a like card most out of top hand. strategies to have I think so. monsters. I think and back row and tough. hand traps yeah, to he's contend with dark for this, the only light he has And all of your resources Bellion, are on the field yeah, on turn that one. That means you're going to get clapped on the crackback. You're going to get clapped. There's a lot of stuff to break oh, boards. you got to have a little the, something, something. There you know. is the rocket part of the deck. Quick launch into Rocket Tracer. Yeah, you don't need the boot sector if you're just going to summon a lot of cards. deck. And it's going to Synchro 10. Is it going to be Baron or Chaos Angel? Sorcel has Blackout. You know, He's one blackout on top of everything kind of else here. is and enough, but we'll see what happens with uh, I love Beastial Dispotter. So he's going to attribute the Beastial Dispotter to bring back the Beastial Lubellion. We might be able to Ooh, see Branded that, Regain uh, bring back Beastial Dispotter. Uh, collector's Rare. Look pretty nice. There it is. Branded Regained. Yep. Gets to activate it from, or place it from the deck I on the Spell and Trap card zone. I don't know a lot a about cool that, but I think Branded Regain is like... If you put a normal monster, you can spell someone back a Beastial, including Dispatter. Now okay. we're going to link away the safer. There you go. I was about to say, like, I know it's pretty broken. I there know people talk about it a lot. Nope, you got to put it down. You see it in all the uh, uh, right? Dragon Link decks, and people always talk about how that right card the guard dragons need has kind of busted it along with the other. Two different Link monsters uh, point to. So there's Yushio Triple Burst cards. Dragon and Guard Dragon Pisty, both pointing to that zone. Man, right Juan over here looking to see if his uh, door dash guard dragons, the, the last remaining of the... Man, <laughs> Juan. The last Guard Dragon, yes. <laughs> what you looking at, Aggro Juan? Pain and, uh, Juan LP trying to see if the door dash came because he know he's got the right, Dark so Ruler no more. So he's going to bring no back Drew from the Banished <laughs> Zone. I think we have 36 minutes left. That extra time pays off here in the semifinals. Yeah, 36 minutes, minutes left. That's that enough. That's, that's enough field. time for right Dark now. Ruler no more evenly. That's enough time for that. Definitely something you want to keep in mind. Now he's going to banish three darks. I think it looks like he might have to actually banish the Dispotter, but it will also be able to activate the brand and regain's other effect. If a card, a lighter dark is banished, you can put it on the bottom and draw a card. 
Yeah, you really want to go fishing for those uh, board breakers. I feel like he's just kind of doing the exercise in futility. Yeah. Look at him, my yeah. man is like, just give, geez, I mean, to me, this card just let my turn like come around for me. Yeah, that's like been an iconic effect from the past. That still because you, you know he's got it. That beautiful, hand beautiful hand living there, dragon on the field. That, that you just aren't allowed to play uh, anymore. So it's because it's so that such strong. beautiful cards for good reason, especially if you get to look. Combo, combo to your one, heart's two, delight. Three dark monsters. <laughs> Prepare yourself for the next right, so One, two, three, four, five. Probably reroll if it's a six. And on top of that, we're going to get the branded regained effect. Put Striker Dragon back into the extra deck. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to yes, do sir. that since it is at one. Want to be able to reuse that on the following turn or potentially in the same turn. So already off to a better start here for Santiago. Doesn't matter how good his start is if so far he's been playing. All he has is monsters on board. Juan has already proven. Four, number four. That's yeah, given an opportunity, he will clap those cheeks with one spell card. He put a card he back. He didn't even look to look to see what it was yet. Now is it the Santiago Dark Ruler no well. more? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. It wasn't Dark Ruler no more. Was it the negation board spell? Was it the evenly match that I know he has? I don't know if he plays evenly, but I'm saying, like, is it the even? I know he checks, right, so sees it, he's like, I'm good. Cards, five, <laughs> five, 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 six. Or he looked at it and was like, fuck. <laughs> I like the levy and airplay. That was pressure from Santiago. So the taking a card from the hand was a great play. But because he already he knows his opponent, if he doesn't sense. have any hand traps, he's that's where his weapons are. And he's got a tracer. back row, he attacked his hand, and he has a bounce. So he's not even going and for maybe the ball, he has some and other, just going for seals to maybe, be a little Maybe he's got some other cards safer. in his hand. He has a face down spell yeah. card, too. Could so be yeah, he, like, he changed his gameplay up. Know. Okay, he changed his gameplay up. So a dank ruler no more will do nothing this time. I imagine maybe a side I mean, it'll obviously get you seals, but you know. The deck ruler no more is not the same. There's a lot of stuff uh, in terms of effectiveness. Could just be. It looks like in phase is mm. gonna be black metal to the hand for follow up for next turn since that striker dragon is back yeah, in the extra. Black metal for game regain. next turn if he can survive. So let's see what happens. Eradicator epidemic virus. Hey so yo. Spells. <laughs> 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 hey yo. That's gotta be a side deck card. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's everyone's favorite card. Let me see those tricks. You haven't got to see too much of it. Not gonna be Santiago taking advantage. No. Ah, yeah. Wow. I was like, yeah. Damn. Maybe with the Castor and Levin, you're trying to go after some other board breaker that might. Wow. Let that man cook. Look. All right, here we go. We're gonna see some dragons in this game. We'll see if Juan decides Let's to go first or cook. second. I think after seeing that Let's Eradicator, he might choose to go first. But Let's get this cook. We'll have to see. I, I want to see this I duel. Mean, it's also just a matter of I Juan versus interact, Santiago. So, yeah. Nice sports man. Maybe he's this turn. But let's see what or type of fire game. Juan's going to bring. Because I know, way, getting the I know Juan, Dark massive. Ruler no more, getting clapped like that makes him want to bring the pain. Sword, Look how he's looking at those cards. My favorite deck Each card. One, mm. whoever wins this game will be going to the finals All of right, the World Championship. Go. All right, Juan's going first. Juan takes the first play. Takes a look at his hand. Gets a different perspective, tilting his head to the other way. Takes another look at his hand. No. Cosmic Cyclone. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I, was gonna, oh. I saw the tie in his hands. So I was like, maybe I there's the no way Cyclone to play, but he does have too. the emergence. It was a, giving me a little bit of a scare there. Set him, set him flip him yeah, I, th I thought he. Yeah, I thought he breaked. <laughs> I was like, oh I thought, no, this is all gonna go wrong. That's really what you don't want is your third Let's game see to come down to your deck just not doing what it's supposed to. Now he just has producing to. like a low percentage hand that does nothing. Very much so. And now he has to just worry about infinite impermanence. Infinite impermanence on Sword Soul Moye can be devastating <laughs> if he doesn't have something like Sword Soul Long Yuan. I don't think Santiago's don't think Santiago got the has any traps other than that Eradicator. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think he's got the Empire. Or the Valor or any of that. I don't think he so does any of Just a token, gonna Synchro Summon for Sword Soul Chi Chow. Chi Chow. Chain Link 1 Chi Chow, Chain Link 2 Moye gets the draw and then gets to the add. Hey. See if he's gonna go after Long Yuan or Blackout. We haven't even seen Blackout. We've seen him play Sword Soul a couple times, but I'm not certain if he even has Blackout in his deck. I, you mean, it's, I mean, you have got to. to. You right? have to at least have one so you can banish it with Teach Out sometimes. Hmm. 
interesting. Right, the way he, his his body language is saying, "I don't, I this don't got it. I'm not that guy." the most important game of the tournament. He's got to be that, careful. It, that's what his body language is saying. His body language is saying, "Game number one, I do not have it." Scenario. This is all I got. Oh, not not the exact scenario. Like, like exact he's not he's not going like yeah yeah yeah. Let's cook. I suspect he's basically like on upgrades. All right, I'm about to warm up this plate. Y'all want a piece? This is. He's not cooking right now. Yeah, when I when I see Crystal Monster, I usually know what I want, but it's gonna go for the long you on. Like as soon as okay. I start to act, when you use an effect, it's not like the, the going timer master starts duel for you to style. think about what you want to add. <laughs> Monster yeah. negate. You're supposed to know what I'm you want to add first before you activate it. <laughs> yes. Set blackout. <laughs> and it's also kind of baked into the rules of the game. Set cosmic cycle. No still in your deck before you activate an effect. Activate so ravine. Cosmic activate cycle. If you don't have something. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little sometimes because you would side deck, you might side deck out an option. Most right, of the time, you need this. Oh my gosh, what Ooh. a start. Pitch a Shuna. I mean, you knew he was doing that. You saw I have it. to assume he drew that off of the Taya. I think he might have led with it initially. Or oh, off yeah. the Moye, sorry. All right, throw it one, two, three, four, when I start playing right Yu-Gi-Oh! seriously and return back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Sword Soul, it was the, only way the to play first deck I played you against. Long you and and you get the I hated it in the moment because I was a little disgusted. This way, definitely <laughs> but after, uh, but afterwards, I was like, you know what? That's a pretty cool deck. Baron de Fleur. Doesn't matter. He's going for Baron de Fleur this time. summon Baron de Fleur. The next time Saniogo tries to do something on not going to happen. One of my, one of my most favorite synchro monsters. Damage. Only because of the horse of the floral knights. He's going to set one. You'll have to two, subscribe to the YT Dan to channel three, to three learn about that. I don't like putting this in the same zone as yeah. the Baron. I'm, I'm scared of mech knights. I, I know one of them the is Cosmic okay. Cyclone. And maybe there's a blackout. And notably, your hand doesn't go in the spell trap zone. Doesn't. Yeah, get <laughs> your hand off of there, boy. Oh. Anti-spell fragrance. Hey, yo. Oh, he's giving him a taste of his own medicine, cutting him off of spell card. Does he have a oh, chain for like quick launch? Like Floodgate. <laughs> and he's got Cosmic Cyclone, too. Anti-spell is huge against Dragon Link, cutting you off of the field spells. He's got to have two, right? Yeah, he's... He's the Baron, mm. yeah. Did Doesn't look like he has any response, man? though. He yeah, just fold him. Boot Sector or Dragon Ravine is... Are you folding? Devastating. So Dragon Link notoriously plays no traps unless you're using the Dragon Mate stuff. Gonna activate the B Seal Druis Worm to banish the Ashuna. I think that's the only light in the grave. Yard. But then what though? This is intense right now. Juan's talking through this it. This is a classic this is a throwback to the championship in North America last year when Hanze won with this kind of similar setup with Chichao Baron and anti spell fragrance. Negates with Baron. Doesn't want the Druis Worm to be able to out the Baron by itself. Does he have a second bestial? Bastilles could be useful right now. He does. He's got a second bestial. It's Baldrake. This is the way to get back into it. Multiple bestials, multiple ways to get dragons on the field without needing to worry about spell cards. He's going to banish the Ashuna successfully this time, and bestial Baldrake comes down. Okay. Nocto Vision Dragon comes he, with it. He has plenty of dragon monsters in his hand that can special summon without needing his normal summon. That is incredible. This is the way he can get back into it. Yeah, his hand might be Chichow all monsters, and, face and that would be the perfect now, counter the to that setup. Here, isn't that so just cool. devastating? It's tough to it get, he still get rid of his normal Chichow, summon. Right? And, I mean, yeah, does he have Chichow a blackout? Use the effect negation, and Santiago mm. still has access to his normal summon. And Having he didn't use the Three negate. dragons he could summon from his hand without needing Double a normal spells. summon is huge. So mm. thinking on the summon of Noctovision Dragon. He has to, he must have blackout, and he's deciding right now if he needs to use it. Because, I mean, even the normal summon, not as strong, because normally the normal summon goes into Striker Dragon, which can, like, snowball into Boot Sector. But with that mm. anti-spell faced up, that won't be the case. Uh, oh. So he's going to banish the Baldrick to summon Red-Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Another Dragon Special Summon. He's, he's, he's probably just drawn no spells. The anti-spell isn't doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, that you have to use spell Blackout here if he has it, because otherwise he's going to bring back field. the Druid Swarm. Well, he can but use it the looks Chichow. like his monsters he delight in the fragrance. True. Okay, that makes sense. And now there's no risk on the blackout because you've used all of your <laughs> cards. 
Yeah, if he wants to play around the blackout, he could go to battle phase and attack the Chicha with the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Yeah. They'd both be destroyed, but he'd still be able to have two dragons on the field if he has one to normal summon and not have to worry about Sword Soul Blackout if he does, in fact, have a face down. We didn't see him add it. He added the Longy one off the Chicha, but there's not too many traps that Sword Soul play. But mm -hmm. if it is Blackout and like an infinite permanence, it could be just game over. He's checking his hand again. I, I got to figure he just doesn't have spells. Yeah, maybe he doesn't. I mean, the double B seal is huge. Or maybe he has Steel. one spell. Noctovision. Noct I love Noctovision. Plus Noct Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon. That's just <laughs> great in the face of anti-spell fragrance. Not so much the rest of this stuff, though. So it's going to be a Link 2. And he's going to get another draw here off the Noctovision Dragon. What does he go for? So he has a spell. He can't play it. Seals you can only use on your opponent's turn, but it is a monster that's not too bad. This is another one of those things where you got to decide. I mean, he doesn't you have a lot of Link 2 options. Cards. You're stuck I mean, maybe now, his extra deck is just really, uh, it's not a lot of space. You put something out there. It is the seals. seals. Mm -hmm. Noctovision draw. This could be a big draw. He might need the draw. Let's see what it is. No change in his face. Oh, I said no change in his face, but then his hand went to the face. Uh, he started moving real quick. I'm Did reading into Chaos so Dragon Levy in here. That would be insane. He, he picked up those cards like he's about to toss them out of the game for Chaos Dragon. He needs to put a light in his graveyard, though, if he wants to get the destruction effect. No. What? Is that the monster? Said, oh, it was two spells. Or maybe he spit traps. Uh, he's Good. shaking. Did you set that, though? That boy shook. Literally. He clapped. Unless it wasn't something. It might not have set. been a monster. He might have been setting down his hand. And just... Okay, it was his hand. He was just setting his hand down before he set two spells and traps. Yeah, there's not really a lot of room. The table's very small. Yeah, you can see the, the mat goes to the edge of the table on both sides there. There's really no place for your hand. So perhaps a little more lenience there. Yeah. Uh, you know, your hand definitely doesn't go to your spell drop zone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I usually have like a space. Why don't they just put it on the white part the of the table. table? The official game mats have like a little area it. below the spell yeah. trap cards. But they can't hold it. They shake it. That's very true. <laughs> that boy nervous. I mean, I'd be nervous too. But if I had to sit under the Baron um, stand by phase, the Baron can return to the extra. And he spell fragrance the Baron and Chi Chow. Chi -chow be able to negate something, with but balls. I mean, he's got field. balls. I'll give him so that. To resolve still and someone to drag but in the deck. It's his balls. I guess balls. he didn't have blackout because I guess you use it on the end phase then. Breath right? Oh, yeah. So you know definitely, definitely, blackout? No, you might want to save I it for I mean, how how erratic are those seals? You know what I'm saying? So he's going to leave it on the field, doesn't hack it out, destroys a card. I thought that was Cosmic Cyclone. Maybe that wasn't Cosmic Cyclone. I saw Chaos Space. Yeah, Oof. He did have a spell. Maybe that was the one spell. The other one might be an actual real trap, but it could be another spell. It could be um, options. It's intense. Yeah, it could be well, one of his spells. The thing with anti-spell fragrances is, is a double-edged sword. If Juan drew a spell this turn, he was not going to be able to play it. He'd have to set it for a full cycle of turns. But I mean, it's not like his board is like poor. Like he definitely can do right something now. with that. Yeah, I've always been kind of on the fence about anti-spell because yeah, it cuts off your long game for the sword slip deck a little bit. But if it can devastate your opponent enough, it's not too bad. But Sometimes you, you just beat yourself with it. Is true the issue? That's yeah, kind of the difference eaten. between that and Eradicator. Eradicator, you're not going to beat yourself, but you might just completely <laughs> miss true. and get no value out of it. And anti spell fragrance. I mean, I know this is a tight little out of the position, game, but, but it's very, it seems uh, kind of clear cut risky. to me. You know, that's not Indeed. mirror force. Both players in deep thought. <laughs> They're very focused on the game. I wonder what's. I mean, I wonder what's going through his head right now. On to the finals of the world championship. So he's gonna use the seals. Okay. <laughs> he was like, nah. Or did he attack the seals? Uh, no, it looks like he used oh, he's singing Soul about or Banished Short Soul Emergence. I believe he chained the seals. Okay, they're just still thinking. Okay, he was just still thinking. Yes. So chain the seals, put Baron back into the extra deck. And now I do that before the pop. Seals affect the special summoner dragon. Maybe Juan has something like Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. 
Cosmic oh, it Cyclone. was a Cosmic Cyclone. Cosmic Why didn't Cyclone. he in phase it? Target, I mean, I, I don't know. Card. Why did he wait? That's Dark Ruler no more. Wow, the anti spell was huge. Being able to off So even with all the abyss, it looked like it looked like you know maybe the anti spell he didn't matter. Goofed. It turned out that it was incredibly consequential as Bestial Magma hits the field. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have the damage. Ron yeah. only has two cards A in anti spell hand. fragrance. I think you're right. Maybe the anti spell him. could end up backfiring and holding him back from finishing Santiago off. And with the Magma giving him time, there might be a way to get back into this game with. There's a quite a good dragon he mentioned last turn. He could search with Magma. His other face down card was another spell. It was another Sword Soul Emergence. Oh I mean, of course, of course it was. Of course insane. it was. Is limited to two. He, he played anti spell fragrance. Sure you didn't think it was two spells face down? Uh, maybe it might have been <laughs> just a massive. Well. <laughs> I no, mean, it's, I, it's either with two on. spells or one spell and a blackout. And since he didn't play right blackout, back. obviously, this that's is, not surprising. This, is for Santiago. this could be it. This could yeah. be game right yeah, here. Yeah, this is game. He's got the special, he he's the got token. a synchro 10, so taking and then he's got a normal, and he's got a synchro for 4. Goodbye. 56. Lose the you put Barone back effect. in the deck. So. The destruction effect, I believe, is once per turn, but not by name. Copy, though, right? Is it? I'm not, I know the negate, but I don't know about the negation's once while it's face. Yeah, he's got that negate. He's got that negate. The negate is live. He's dead. <laughs> Goodbye. And he has incredible but it doesn't Ecclesia. Matter. Incredible. incredible Ecclesia here. She's incredible. The stats of that magnet are zeroed out oh. by the effect of Hieratic Seals. Riverino Bean Burrito. See you later. Summons Tire. Yeah, see you later. Vanishes mm -hmm. Long One's going to get a Sword Soul token. Synchro Summon. And yeah, the destruction effect of Baron is just regular once per turn. And that's yeah. it. One <laughs> is one on to the finals of the I world I the face there. <laughs> Put my problems in the paper, then pass them around. Loud enough to wake the neighbor, they mad at the sound. Trying to dial up the deputy, mad at my brown. My back at the wall, battling straddling blurred lines of where the heat and the fanning begin. Kind of funny what the people call a legend, the government call a weapon, but really he just a man in the end. He just a man in the end. I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord that I wake again.